James Baxter. <laughs> how can anyone not start off this vlog? How else could I possibly start off this vlog? Dog Walker. I still it's, think you should have done that. No, it's not the same. He tried doing that during this episode. I said it, it doesn't have the magic that James Baxter does. <laughs> um, okay, so this this almost seemed like. Like, episode one stuff, like, you know, like, I could see this coming out, like, right after the first episode, uh, in terms of the, um, the story and the jokes and stuff like that. I mean, this was just so goofy and so random, but it's like, it was just so funny and, and, and upbeat and it, it, there's, there's this horse that goes around on a ball, uh, who cheers people up, and of course his name is James Baxter. Um, and he just keeps saying, James Baxter, he keeps saying it over and over, and uh, cheers up Bimo, who is sad because her pregnant egg, uh, <laughs> which her acting pregnant is hilarious, well, it just taped a cup with an egg yep. in it. Um, and that made her feel better, and Finn and Jake are like, oh, we gotta be more like James Baxter, you know, he makes everybody feel better. Like, so. Be more like who? James Baxter. Um, I, you know, it's so funny because I'm watching this late. I'm obviously getting here late to the game, so I'm sure a lot of people watching it's like, oh god, that thing is back, God. <laughs> you know, it's it's like after you show someone the room and everybody starts going oh hi. It's like you can't help it after seeing it though. You just want to say it. Um, so Finn and Jake want to go and they want to make. They want to find their own variation of James Baxter. So <laughs> you do even the <laughs> <laughs> How can you not? I want to shake my head to James Baxter. <laughs> so they try to find their own version of James Baxter. <laughs> and uh and they try to work out like the perfect sound and the perfect motion and everything, and finally they they think they got it and they worked uh hours and hours trying to get this the sound right and the the action. They finally got, they turn uh, Jake into a horn, make this little boop, 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 and they, they're on, Jake is a ball, and, <laughs> yeah, like, do, 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 do. and that seems to make people happy, except for this dead person in a coffin, this ghost, uh, who comes out and starts beating the crap out of him, but then James oh, don't Baxter, about what else he sprays, oh, he sprays milk out of him, yes, uh, I love how you just back. That's right, because wasn't there like uh, the the one other ghost, the one that they uh, this connects somehow? I kind of remember this. The the two ghosts that were like romantically involved or whatever. What weren't wasn't somehow like they had milk blood or something or what? What was it? I don't remember. Come on, it's like Ghost Princess or whatever. Wasn't I, there something? I was just I'm just surprised. Out of all the bizarre things, or all the normal things that happened, one of the most bizarre, the guy spitting out milk everywhere. But wasn't there something like, like I, maybe I'm just making this up, but wasn't there something from like the Ghost Princess episode where like milk had something to do with something? Or no? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Oh, well now I'm, t well, okay. If any of you remember, I could have completely made that up. I don't know, but it makes sense if ghosts have milk blood anyway. Um, or whatever he's spewing out or crying out. Um, oh, milk. <laughs> so, uh, they're, so this ghost is about to beat the crap out of him. Jake gives the clapping signal to find him in the world of the dead. And, uh, but then James Baxter comes in and it makes the guy happy and just, Everybody's happy, and then he takes his ball, puts on his hat, and just rides off. And it's <sighs> that right, man. Just made me feel good. It's just a good <laughs> feeling episode. <laughs> and I don't know why. I, there is something about just him riding around going James Baxter. It just makes me laugh. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's funny. I I literally just did an editorial. This is gonna be like a few weeks after, but I just did an editorial called "Why Do People Love Stupid." And it's like, why do we like things kind of like this? You know, where we'll just laugh at something. It's like, it makes no sense. It's nonsensical. But it's just, you know, so funny. Uh, and there is talent to it. And it is difficult. And I think there is something about that setup that just makes me laugh. And uh, you were telling me before this vlog that um, uh, James Baxter is actually a very famous animator, a Disney animator. And not only did he supply the voice for this, but he did the animation for James Baxter. And sure enough, when I was watching this, I was like, I love the animation mm -hmm. on that thing. It is so flowing. And I think that's part of what made it so funny, is that even though it's still very simple line drawing, 
it's you know every frame is animated and it's not like you know they froze one and just moved the arm or they move like the legs and the head but then this part keeps doing so it's fully animated mm -hmm. and it looks different from anything else in the show or it moves different i should say anything else in the show and that just makes it so much funnier when he does his you know his saying and everything um so I thought it was great, and uh, now I want to know more about James Baxter. <laughs> so, <laughs> your thoughts? I don't even know what to say. And what, what can you say about it? It's just it. It just makes you feel good. It's just a feel good episode. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I can agree with it. It's a feel good episode. <laughs> I think it I, is. I, I loved like when Bemo's in the bathtub. Who's gonna scrap me? <laughs> um, I I did like where they were trying to figure out how to make the sound better. They go to this one place and they're like, yeah, just follow the beat of your heart. And Finn's like... And he's literally walking blind. Yeah. And they go and there's all the stuff and Jake gets all excited over the distortion pedals and stuff. Because that would be me. I can't play guitar at all, but I love the idea of distortion pedals and stuff. Mm. So, um, And then there's one point where Jake says, this is going to change the world. And Finn's like, I think you're overhyping it. <laughs> and I, I think, I don't know if it was intentional or not or anything like that. I think they were almost making a nod or a knock against themselves or to other people that sit there and go, oh, what I'm creating is going to make, you know, change the world in its entirety. Like, there's a lot of episodes, like the Simon and Marcy episode, yeah. or the Holly Jolly Secrets, where people watch it and they're like, oh my god, this is like the groundbreaking episode, this is the one mm. that everyone's going to be affected by, but not everyone is. And I think Finn is like, it's almost... <laughs> I should have known that. I thought I had it turned off. <laughs> it's, um... It's, it's, yeah, just... <sighs> Continue. <laughs> Um, I think it was more or less, it, it could be like this tiny little thing where it's like, people need to stop overselling what they're talking about or what they're doing. It's like, you may love it, you may think it's the best thing in the world, but it's probably not going to change the world. I think a lot of things that do change the world, the intention is to not change the world. Mm -hmm. You know? I don't know, that's just me, though. It's, um, I have come across, like, one or two people that do, like, I think everybody has that oversell something either they're doing or someone else is doing. It's just like, and they just know they're going to get picked up, and they know something incredible is going to It's like, no, no, there's just, there's no way. There's no yeah. possible way this can't become huge. There's no, and that's always the hardest thing, because it's like, if it does, great, but you're leaving yourself no option for if it doesn't, and that's yeah. just going to make the letdown all the more painful. It's like, why put yourself through that pain? Um, so, yeah, I, I, I got with you. Just, like, don't overhype it. <laughs> um, but, no, this one just seemed to have, like, a lot of the humor, just this sort of random fun humor, like, when they're trying to uh, cheer BMO up, and it's yeah. just like, here, how about this? And Jake's just Jake just takes his butt and points it around. <laughs> it's, it's that wonderful random immaturity that's also just it just seems really upbeat and goofy and fun and or the little girl where they run up after her and she's like ah and runs into the alley and she's screaming in terror and they're still like ooh, ah, ooh. i figure it's like, the ah! second time when they come up to her and they have the shadows going like <laughs> that it's like no no it's okay we just want to fly it's like why did they do this <laughs> that was great uh so yeah it was just I mean, it's a lot of randomness, but it just, I don't, even kind of like the colors in it just seem sort of more bright and colorful yeah. than usual. Uh, just something about it. I can't explain it. It's just, it's just the whole thing around like James Baxter and how he's just so <laughs> upbeat and mellow and happy and random. It's like, that's just the whole episode. It's the whole episode, man. It's life. It's the world. James Baxter. Yeah. Uh, okay. segue time. Okay. okay. Um, no, no. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, no. Uh, oh, 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 here you go. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I that, 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 uh, nice. Uh, what, what, uh, that, you can't read that one that, that said that. <laughs> I don't even, what, I, the... Fuck you, what do you want from me anyway? <laughs>